So, here's Dane. All right. <laughs> Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Chiatura. We might have some rather uh, rustic accommodation for tonight. Piros Mani. Good morning, I'm finally leaving Tbilisi. I've been here for uh, more than a week now. A very quick uh, room tour. It's small, but it does the trick. Private bathroom, nice shower. It is quiet in a perfect location, good Wi-Fi. This room is about $32 per night, which I wouldn't call super cheap, but uh, the first place that I stayed was a hostel in which a dorm bed was just $9. I also had a much more spacious room for just 20 bucks. And so I'm finally getting out of Tbilisi, looking forward to seeing more of Georgia beyond the capital here. I have a hostel reserved in a small town a few hours outside of Tbilisi. I'm going to be meeting up with a friend, Dane, who I met at the uh, hostel that I stayed at when I first arrived here. Cool guy from California, but uh, I think he was born in Korea. He's from Korea originally. And I'm going to be meeting him at the bus station where we're going to catch a minibus from here to Chiatura, which is a place that he had uh, mentioned he wanted to go visit. I forget why exactly, but uh, it sounds cool. So uh, I'm excited to uh, get rolling here, get out of Tbilisi, see more of Georgia. So here we go. Thank you. And breakfast accomplished. It was 240 lari. The exchange rate for the lari versus the US dollar is three to one. So this is about 80 cents here. I have a Chebureki, one was called, and the other is a cream pie. I'm not sure what the Chebureki is, but I'll find out. And coming up here is the Freedom Square. And check out how long this escalator is. So this is the Dido Bay metro station, which is near the Dido Bay bus station, which is where I will meet Dane, and we'll take the minibus. Got some uh, coins here. Okay, Dido Bay metro. Now, where is the uh, bus station? Chiatura? Down? Down? Okay, thank you. Alright, this has got to be the place here. Where is Dane? And so I got a message from Dane that he is here. The problem is I don't have a cell phone connection all of a sudden. I've had a connection everywhere else in Tbilisi, but this is kind of on the outskirts and my phone isn't working. So I can't uh, get in touch with him and tell him I'm here and find out where exactly he is. So I'm gonna wander around. So here's Dane. All right. And uh, so how much were the, uh, the bus prices again? Uh, there were 10 maris each. Which is three bucks for like... For a three hour ride? For a three hour ride, so... Yeah. And then here and we then go. how much was the metro? Did you take the so metro? It was, it was 50 tetri. Okay. Which is like 20 cents US. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, you feeling ready for this journey? I guess uh, ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious to see uh, 
what it's gonna be like if it's gonna be like windy roads or whatever. or bumpy. Yeah, yeah. Should be some cool scenery though. I think this is my this is gonna be my first trip out of Tbilisi. Like, oh, uh, is it? Uh, I went out uh, once with friends in a car. You know, they drove me. Okay. But then this will be like out like you know like public transportation. Yeah, so. properly getting out of the country. Yeah. yeah. Did you just go like on a day trip on that? Yeah. Okay. Like a three-hour drive uh, through the national forest. Oh, nice. And we climbed up to like uh, top of this hill where you could see all the uh, forest that we just climbed. And then, and then the plains and then the whole mountain range. Nice. Yeah. And so we got break time here. Some random place on the side of the road. A little taste of the uh, Georgian countryside. Nice fall colors. And I think we're getting pretty close to our uh, destination. I saw a sign that said 73 kilometers a ways down the road. We're going that way. So it should be like less than an hour to go. Looking forward to seeing Chiatura. Check that out. Something on the top of that mountain there. Looks like kind of the remains of a building. Wedding. Nice to be out of Tbilisi. And so we're now walking to our hostel. It's gonna be like a mile walk or something. I had to live in out here. Yeah. I don't know, I might be chosen to go back to Tbilisi after a week or so. <laughs> I don't know, get get your farm going and have a simple life. Find a local. Yeah. yeah. 
So this might be the place. That sign said Piros Mani a second ago. So okay. we might have some rather uh, rustic accommodation for tonight. It had good reviews. Yeah, that looks yeah. fine. Hotel Piros Mani. Okay. So that's where we're staying. Yeah. Uh, where do you read that? Just the sign? Yeah, that, that one that says welcome right there. Yeah. So we're in kind of the industrial neighborhood of town. Yeah. I guess that's why the nine dollars $9 yeah. <laughs> comes in. Exactly. Piros Mani? What? Piros Mani? Hotel? Hotel? Yeah. Around here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Piros Mani. Piros Mani. Yes. Yep. Cool. And so this is the room. It's a dorm. It's like a hostel with uh, private rooms and then two uh, dorm rooms with five beds. And I thought we were going to be sharing a uh, room, but they have another room next door to this one. Same configuration with the five beds. And Dana got that one, I guess, just because there's nobody else in here right now. And so they just gave us both uh, our separate rooms. So I guess it's still $9 each per night. I booked it for two nights, but I think I'm just going to stay here for one night and then tomorrow move on to Kutaisi. And Dane is going back to Tbilisi tomorrow anyways. So kind of a uh, unique situation here, but uh, looking forward to cruising around the town here and seeing a bit more of Chiatura. And so you can see two uh, cable car things going across there. And check out this bridge, like so derelict looking. Yeah. Well, it doesn't even go across all the way. I guess it did. Yeah. And so basically this was like a mining town. And so that's why there's all the different cable cars. Yeah. And then that's the remains of a mine up there. Yeah. And there used to be like uh, a lot of like these buildings for the workers here that are just abandoned or like mostly abandoned and people still live in them. Oh, and they do still live in them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's something between like a cross between an apple and like a bell pepper or like a... Yeah, it looks good. Like this part looks, you know, very different from an exactly. apple. Yeah, yeah. But it smells like Totally apple. smells like an apple. Yeah. This is a trippy little town. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Washwich. Moskvich, that's the kind, maybe that's kind of a classic. Yeah. Russia, Russia. Russia, yeah. Russian Russia. car, yeah, Russian yeah. car. It looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, by the interior, that's got to be like 60s or 70s or something. Oh, this is you? You? Brad, Brad, Brad. Hello. Restaurant? Restaurant? Yeah, okay. So we got a lot of food here, especially me. I think this is the dish that was just called family and I had no idea what it was going to be. And uh, it's a nice big dish with like some kind of meat and some potatoes and then salad there and some sausages. And then we also both got a mushroom and cheese, like stuffed, yeah. cheese stuffed mushrooms yeah. basically. Uh -huh. So looking good. Here they are. Uh, perfect time. I don't see any cheese. Yeah, it looks more like butter. Because the ones that I got were... Really cheesy. Were very cheesy, yeah. Thank you. It just sort of looks like the moisture from the mushroom. Yeah. Right on. And so you can see the cable cars going up and down the mountain there. I guess they're old Soviet era contraptions. We think they're free to go up there's another one over here as well going up to the top of that cliff so we're going to uh, give one of these a try so this is the jumping off point right here nobody around but one's coming down so it's all a bit mysterious let's see if we can get on it yeah, maybe there's somebody inside here or... Yeah. I mean, I feel pretty weird just like hopping in that thing without anybody around. I mean, this is like totally... Oh, hello. It's okay. All right. All right. Man, these 
things look sketchy. <laughs> How is it? It was, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but they it's put like uh, no, this, it's not. It's this safe. thing so you can't yeah. really see out the window very easy. I see. Yeah. Maybe that's for the best, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Super safe. Okay. No accidents. It's pretty dark in here. Yeah. Okay. There's the lady uh, yeah. setting us up. There's the bell. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> I think this might be the one that uh, those guys in the video, Kara and Nate, yeah. went up. Could be wrong, but the guy kind of looked familiar okay. in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could just like open this well, up. I, I was trying to, but it seems like it's locked. Oh, it is locked somehow. Okay, yeah, that's good. I wanted to open it up. Yeah. <laughs> just to scare yourself a little more? Well, just to get a better shot. Oh, yeah. I stick my camera out. There. That's right. It is a very steep uh, mountain now. Come on, Joba. Hello. Surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so we're going for the other one here. Survived once. Might as well do it again. Check out this miner. Got the magic key. Yep. Oh, it has a telephone. Yeah. In oh. case we get stuck, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Made it to the top and check out this bench. Yeah. <laughs> it's all just so surreal. I know, man. It feels frozen in time like 40 years ago. It's like a ghost town, except people actually live here. People live here, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, after uh, the apocalypse and, and yeah. the civilization is starting to come back to life again. Yeah, the zombies have emerged from the <laughs> underground. Not that I'm calling Georgian zombies. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, just the, the scenes. Just the feel, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. I mean, this building is just, you know, like... There's so many on the balcony, like people do live here. Laundry hanging is signs of life. And, and uh, of these, of these uh, when we were coming up, some of these houses, like the roof, are collapsed. Yeah. And some of them, uh, you could see like smoke coming out of it. 
Uh -huh. And like one of them, I, it was like a Mercedes parked out in front. Of no way. <laughs> it's such like a weird combination. Yeah, because there are some nice new cars in town too. Yeah, yeah. So we were right over there before. Oh, yeah. Like that. yeah. Here come the piggies. Freaking hilarious. What a scene. And so right there is the bus station where Dane and I will both uh, come tomorrow. He's headed back to Tbilisi and then I'm heading for Kutaisi. What's the damage? Uh, 1.6. 160? Yeah. All right. So yeah. like 50 cents for like five oranges or something? Yeah. The or more than that. Eight oranges. Nice. <laughs> All right. Scored. Yeah. Bus station. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Good luck. It was great. Bye-bye. Yeah. You and me. No, no, no. No, no, no. One. No, no, no. One, one, one. He <laughs> won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cha cha. Show, show it. Cha cha. <laughs> Good morning. Where are you heading? Hey there. Ah, Kutaisi. Ah, Kutaisi. You just arriving here? Or? How is it? It was. Yeah. <laughs> they were all super safe. Okay. No accidents in Sydney. Uh, no. Well, we arrived yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, did you stay here at the, this hotel? Yeah, yeah, we stayed up here. I see. Oh, they got some more rooms up there. Yeah, on the second floor. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. And so I'm back at the bus station here, and I'm not exactly sure uh, what happened with Dane there, but he's going back to Tbilisi, and he was kind of having fun with those guys. Oh. That's funny, there he is. <laughs> I'm riding on such a different plane of like reality right now. All right, so this has been an interesting morning. I said goodbye to uh, Dane there like a couple of hours ago at the uh, hotel we were at there, the hostel. And then I get all packed up and go to uh, check out and leave and and he was there drinking with those guys. He was planning to leave and then ended up uh, talking with some guys there and then they all like broke out the beer and something else. <laughs> and so we ended up getting a ride uh, to the bus station and then got the uh, info for the bus. His bus leaves earlier to Tbilisi than mine because I'm going to Kutaisi next from here. Kutaisi is like an hour away. The uh, bus was uh, six lari, so that's just two dollars. I have like an hour now until my bus goes to Kutaisi, so I'm going to find some uh, lunch here and then head to the next town. And check out this pizza for lunch here. Looks amazing, and I think that it is just five lari, which is less than two dollars. Here's my hand for comparison. It's like a nice, like medium-sized pizza. Looks good. And so I just bought all this stuff from a guy on the street. 
I got sweats, like comfy uh, sweats, and then long underwear, bottoms and tops, and two pairs of very warm socks, all for 50 lari, which is like 17 bucks. And I'm now uh, heading to uh, grab my bus to Kutaisi in a couple of minutes. So looking forward to checking out the next Georgian town. I see. Banki. Yeah, everything you need here. <coughs> Central Kutaisi Centrum. Oh, oh Kutaisi Centrum. And so this is Kutaisi. Kutaisi. This is the central area over here. There's a park right there and a big roundabout. Interesting building there with all these figures on top. And here's my room. Not bad. Nice and spacious. And attached bathroom. For just $11 US. Georgia is definitely nice and cheap. Especially once you get out of Tbilisi and the tourist zone. I booked this on booking.com. Lots of uh, great affordable alternatives on there and so I'm here for one night I'm thinking about my upcoming plans I might stay here another night I'm thinking about going to Borjomi and Mestia and then there's also the caves at Varja and I have a flight from Batumi in I think five days so I got another few days to explore around uh, Georgia and see more of this really interesting country so I'll show a little bit more of Kutaisi in this video after I take a break here for a little bit and relax all right see ya 
And so that's my room right there. Awesome church up there. And I thought that I would give a little taste. It's kind of more of a, a guest house. I'm just heading out to go find some fresh juice. I've been uh, having this cold the past couple of days and uh, need some like orange juice, something with some citrus to help it out. Give a little taste of this place on the way out though. It's really cool. Let's see if we can get enough light on this. It is a image of Jesus. here at the moment. Oh, hello. hello. Just going. Mm -hmm. Okay. books for sale here. And so I saw these in Tbilisi as well. It's like a boxing thing where you pay money and this thing comes down and you try to hit it really hard. Kind of random. And so mission not accomplished when it comes to the fresh juice. In Tbilisi, there was all these uh, fruit stands with pomegranate and orange juice. And you mix those together and that is just kind of the ultimate uh, combination to kick a cold. But I wasn't finding it around here at all. No like fresh juice stands. I'm sure there's one somewhere, but I got uh, tired of looking and decided to compromise and a McDonald's orange juice not uh, ideal but better than nothing so anyways this has been an awesome adventure around georgia what a fascinating country i have a few more days left looking forward to exploring more i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to be going tomorrow we shall see so more coming from georgia later